So it's already 2.54 and yet you are only 12 in the class. But it's okay. Since I already informed you naman with this time, no? Kagabi pa man ata ako nag-inform. And the rest kay wala. But anyway, let's just start kay Marang 40 minutes na ni ako ang limit sa ano na to, Zoom. So... We're done with the first and second exam, no? Mga topics natin coverage. And again, uh, yesterday I, I sent a message in our GC congratulating everyone na lahat ay nakapasa, no? Lahat ay nakapasa sa second exam. And my mga highest, I don't know if Miss Bolaño is here. She's the highest, no? With a perfect score and also... Um, ang ating second na mga highest are Marshall, uh, Princess May Fentes, Rachel Velondo, si Lau, si Wella well, si Lynn, si Olea, at saka si Miss Pacanya with only one mistake. 49 out of 50 ang kanilang score. So, sana uh, you're gonna keep it up until third and fourth examination. Okay, so... Before we'll begin, I want to ask someone, um, ano yung title ng ating topic for this afternoon? Anyone? Sino yung naka-access na sa ating quipper? May mga naka-answer na na 28 kabuok and 31 ang naka-access sa PowerPoint. Hello? Ano ang title ng ating topic for this afternoon? Ano po ma'am? Um, quality Assurance and Control po. Yan. Very good. Thank you, Charlon. Um, you mm -mm, siya, uh, yun yung title ng ating topic. It's about the quality, assurance, and the control. Wait lang. Yan. Okay. So, allow me to share in the screen the PowerPoint, no? The contents of this PowerPoint are already the contents as well sa ano doon sa tawag niyan doon sa module or sa study guide. Asa na ba yan? Ayan. Okay. Sige. Check ko lang makita. Makita man siguro, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. So, our topic is quality assurance. Okay, but before that, we're gonna uh, discuss first the total quality management. So, what is the total quality management? No? So, I'm sure for those 31 students who already access this PowerPoint, you already have read this one, but allow me to explain it further. So, uh, Himahimayin natin sa bawat words. Since this total quality management has three words, unahin natin yung first word, which is the total. So when we say total, it's made up of a whole, no? Pangkalahatan, yung kabuuan. Well, quality. When we talk of quality, this means the degree of excellence uh, a product or a service provides. So, kung sa ang, ang, ang level, ang, yung, ang, uh, ang, ang stato, ang stato sa kung unsa siya ka, um, han ay unsa sa kapulido pagbuhat. It's either the, the goods or the service. And then, when we say management, this is the act, the manner of handling or the art of manner of handling. So, yun sa nito, paghandle, mga procedures, mga policies, mga processes, that's already management. No? From the root word, manage. No? Imuhanggi, gihandle. Eh, imuhanggi, imuhanggi, gimanage na ang unsa man ang imuhang dapat i-manage say creating a product or providing a service na so with that when we have total quality management this is a philosophy that involves everyone in an organization in a continual effort to improve quality and achieve customer satisfaction so when we talk of philosophy this means a belief no so belief ni siya uh, sa isa ka organization nga dapat tanan no uh, should have a continual effort which means hindi ka lang mapermi kung ano yung 
uh, ginapractice mo ngayon, ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon, but it should continue. So when we say continue, non-stop yun, no? So kunwari, you are already reaping the success of today, you are known already na you are providing quality, you are providing good product, na hindi ka dapat uh, maging complacent doon, but you should need, need to continue your good efforts to improve your quality and achieve customer satisfaction. You know, if I could remember, uh, there was a book that I have read. I think it was the um, previous I know, vice president of the Cyrox Sir, company, something, um, which he said na, when we talk of quality daw, it's like a race without a finish line. Diba, when we say um, uh, finish line, ibig sabihin, may, may, may linyada, may, may isang point doon na doon ka magsa-stop kasi nga na ikaw na yung winner. Diba, there's a race and there's a, there's a rope or maybe there's a line there na pag naabot mo na yon stop ka na kasi ikaw na yung declare na winner pag ikaw yung unang nakapunta doon. But it's different when we talk of quality kasi sabi, again, quality is a race without finish line. Bakit yan nasabi yon? Kasi nga, iba when we say quality, everyone really aims for this. Kasi pag may quality, maraming mga customer punta, maraming mga clients na tatangkilik sa iyo. Kaya lang, you also have a lot of competitors with you. Everyone is um, making the effort, continual effort to improve their quality no? and also to achieve customer satisfaction. Now, kung titigil ka doon, no? kung ang race mo ay may finish line, mag-stop ka na kasi sabihin mo, I am already the number one business, the number one organization in the whole world, um, magiging, um, magiging stagnant ka na lang doon sa belief na yon. But again, it should be continual or it should be um, continuous no? forever or perminti ka mag-improve, 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 look for ways you can benchmark and etc. para magkaroon ng uh, better service or, or excellent service sa iyong customer. Kasi nga marami at marami pa rin susubok sa iyong mga competitors who will really try to do their best to achieve that quality. Kaya wala talaga siyang finish line kasi everyone are also doing effort. Okay, so that's total quality management. No, um, ang isang organization are continually doing the effort no, and all the means to really have a quality and achieve their satisfaction or customer satisfaction. Now, what is the goal? No, so the goal of TQM is do the right things right the first time and every time. So the art of becoming the number one. So what do you mean by do the right things? things right the first time every time. Ibig sabihin, um, sa unang bungad mo pa lang, sa unang um, subok mo pa lang, dapat tama na ang imuhang gibuhat. And, hindi lang doon, but always. No, that's the goal no, of, of having TQM. Kasi nga, di ba, minsan meron tayong uh, mga sinasabi na, sige lang, try-try lang, good. Um, this thing, this thing lang, good. Una pa bito na this thing, o maano ka, o mamali ka. Ano, napamay another chance and so on. No? But when we talk of TQM, sabi, it should be that in your first process, first step, first move, dapat you need to do it right na daw. Do the right things right the first time. And not just the first time, but also every time. So every, every ibig sabihin, every day na gumagawa ka ng mga task mo, no, is dapat tama ang iyong ginagawa. So that's what we meant when we say, do the right things right the first time, every time. Okay, ah? question so far? Na ako, ma'am. Yes, dear. Sino ito? Si Raya, ma'am. Leia, yeah. O Leia. Yes, o Leia. Kung saan niyo pagkabalo, ma'am, kung right imong ginabuhat sa first time? Yan. Very good question, o Leia. No? I like the question of o Leia. Sabi ni o Leia, paano mo masasabi that you are already doing the right things, no? First, ano mo pa lang? First attempt mo pa lang. Sige, wait lang. I-chat, ay, ano ko, i-chat ko sa box, no? We have what we call OPM, or if sa procedure, meron tayong tatawag na standards. Yan. Nakita nyo sa group chat. Yan, may sinanda ko. OPM or standards. No, OPM stands for Operation Procedural Manual. Manual. Or others, will, they're gonna call it Procedural 
manual. Yan, nakita na sa chat dito sa Facebook, uh, dito sa Facebook, dito sa Zoom. Yes, ma'am. Ayan. Okay. So, we have Operation Procedural Manual or, or the OPM or commonly tinatawag yung manual, yung iba, procedural manual, etc. So, from the word procedure, na doon natin um, nakikita kung paano ginagawa ang isang task, ang specific task, ang isang specific work or specific job. So, bago, bago ka makaingon nga dapat tama na imong gibuhat, dapat na ka ginaset nga standards. No? Ang standards nakapaloob doon sa procedure no kay mo man ni imo ang gusto nga ipabuhat say uh, mayngon ka og magbuhat ka og magcreate ka og bangko so nakabutang dito sa procedural manual is dapat ang bangko kay 6 uh, uh, 10 feet high uh, hypothetical lang ha 10 feet high then ang width niya kay ang uh, sabab uh, 20 inches color black um it should stand with the wind and so on. So, muna siya ang mga standards nga ginaingon. So, with that, maupo na ang sundon sa mga empleyado. And and from there, you can say you have done the right things uh, uh, the right things from the first time. And also, meron ka na ding every time kasi doon mo din siya ibibase sa standard nga nabuhat sa policy. Now, follow-up question, uh, tanong ko na lang doon sa ano, isa, i, ano ko, i, i anchor ko sa question ni Alea na paano yun mait ma masabi na first time palang tama ka na is dapat uh, prior doon na kag meron ng mga heads no na na identified na gumagawa nitong operation procedural manual so this should come first dapat na akay OPM na akay procedural manual or or na akay standards nga ginasunod para na akay basis na akay comparison nga makaingon ka na tama ang imuhang ginabuhat okay Sige. Um, have I satisfied your question? Have I given you the satisfac as, uh, uh, satisfactory answer, Alea? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you also for, for asking that question. So, yun ha. Merong standard ni sunusunod or procedural manual for you to do the right things right the first time and every time. Okay. So, let's proceed. Ayan, total uh, quality management. So, uh, it is a supervision concept coined by W. Edwards Deming. Actually, um, uh, ang total quality management or are, 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 ang word ng total quality management, mayroong maraming tinatawag naming TQM or tinatawag natin sa business na TQM gurus or quality gurus. Guru, ibig sabihin ba, it's Japanese word which means a teacher. So, isa na doon si Dr. Uh, w. Edwards Deming. So, siya, sa, siya sa, sa mga pioneer na guru or teacher na nag-coined ng concept ng TQM. So, ano yung, ano yung concept ng, ng TQM para sa kanya? Sabi niya, total quality management is an approach that seeks to improve quality and performance which will meet or exceed customer expectation. Or kung sa marketing pa na, na, na concept, na may marketing din no? Uh, na ba? Kung wala, um, let me just share. It's called Customer Delight. Ayan. Ano ko sa Richard? Customer Delight. Ah, si Catherine, nag siya ng hand? Catherine? Ano si Catherine? Hi, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Naklik sa kong mangod, ma'am. Ah, okay, okay. It's okay, dear. So, ayan. So, uh, we have customer delight. Yun yung kasi yung term ng marketing for the concept na nag-meet or nag, I mean, nag exceed sila ng customer expectation or satisfaction rather. Kung na-satisfied na ang, ang, ang isang customer and then uh, sobra pa yung satisfaction ihang na-feel, no, that's already a customer delight. Na, delighted na yun siya. No, now, sa, sa concept ni Dr. Edwards Deming, sabi niya dito, Ang, ang total quality management daw are, are, are an approach or is an approach nga nag no to improve quality and performance which will meet. So, ma-meet ni mo, ma-achieve ni mo tong kung ginaingon ganina na standard or gina-expect sa customer. no And then from there, um, ma-coin ma na ni mo siya or ma-ingon na ni mo siya that you are practicing total quality management. Again, the keyword is you need to meet or kailangan ni mo i-exceed ang gina-expect ni customer expectation. 
no kasi sometimes may mga customers kasi na na uh, meron silang preference meron silang mga sarili nila na na um, gusto mangyari sa isang product if you're gonna meet that or ex- even exceed no so customer expectation then you are practicing or having total quality management question so far Kung wala, let me continue. Okay, so another um, is that uh, under ISO 9000, 2000 definition of quality. So total quality management me- means um, it is the f- degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfills requirements. No, There is also what we call fitness for use. We also have a quality is excellence that is better than a minimum standard. We have conformance to requirements. We have the ability of your product or service to satisfy. So ito yung mga definitions ng quality no, according to the ISO 9000 to uh, 9000 2000 definition. Okay. Well, um, what is the meaning of ISO, by the way? What is the meaning of ISO? Anyone can, can provide? What is the meaning of ISO? Anyone? Hello? Ma'am? Yes, dear? Ano ang meaning? Na- ma'am? ISO. Yes, Ira. ISO. Ano po, ma'am? In- International Organization for Standardization po, ma'am. Yan. Okay, wait lang ka naghang ako. Yan. Okay, International Organization for Standardization. Standardization. Ayan. So, that's the meaning of ISO. Or, again, International Organization for standardization actually this is an organization um, that is being founded no to to help companies na gina-assess sila gina-evaluate sila with different uh, series or standards kung saan sila saan, saan nila gustong mapa-credit and then they will gonna give certificate just like UM no ang UM is meron ta you uh, you were you are so lucky no na sa ngayon na time are we are already I saw 9001-2015 awardee or, 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 or grantee. No? So kasi nga na-audit tayo last uh, 2018 ang ano natin, start ng ISO. Then we had uh, audit 2019 at saka nung ano lang, nung August lang din for the certification na nakita talaga that we are practicing quality system kasi ang ating i-apply yan. 9001-2015. Actually, there are a lot of ISO family pa. Pero again, ang kaning nga ISO, organization na siya nga nag-grant na naghahatag og certificate sa mga ang companies no na nag uh, nag uh, ano o quality. Naghahatag og quality in different areas na na sa mga environment and so on. Sa ato uh, atong i-apply again is the system, quality system. Okay? So another is that uh Quality is the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy given needs. So, syempre, no, uh, di man ta makaingon nga uh, isa la atong tanawon pag may tag quality but it's already the total features. No, aganahan ko sa akong relo kay nagsidlaksidla kanan ko sa akong relo kay nice og strap and so on, sturdy and so on. So different sa high kanang um self-based siya depende kung unsa imo naganahan sa isa ka product. Um, according to Ira, ma'am, di ba pag ang isa ka company ka ay so certified, daghan ka ay opportunities madawat ako. Yes, dear, daghan opportunities like UM. No, we are already internationally known. And that means since we are already uh, uh, audited, no, uh, define it uh, very um, satisfactory or excellent that we are really practicing quality. 
um, system in our academe. And so with that, um, projecting to our clients, sa inyo ha, syempre makaingon mo that UM is really a standard school. You know, that's one of the benefits and opportunities. Then we are also internationally or globally known. known. Okay, to continue, quality. No? So makita natin dito sa mga pictures. No? So paano natin makita na quality? So syempre ito, bulok na eh. Hindi na ito quality. But as you can see here, ano pa siya, sobrang fresh pa. No? Lamion pa kayo si tomato. Okay, dito. Um, when we say quality, even though we, uh, we really like to eat burger, we really like to eat fries and drinks, but we can gain a lot of benefits by eating green veggies or mga fruits. Na, ayan, so mga non-organic, yung mga um, under GMO na na mga vegetables. Ito, or, uh, organic, yung um, walang halong chemical. No, sobrang natural. Kanta pa. No, uh, ginatam sa ito mga farmers. Ito kasi mayroon mga chemical halo na. No, that's why it's very dangerous na to eat mga sometimes food. Ito ko nakita niyo, oh, may gina-inject, di ba? Sabi nga nila, pag bibili daw tayo ng apple, i-rub daw natin siya with, I think, um, hot water or i-ano natin siya, ilublub natin siya sa water with, with, with salt. Uh, I think for 5 to 10 minutes kasi may mga wax-wax sila na nilalagay that makes it uh, uh, better looking so sinaw siya ah, lamik, ano, pero di ay sa sulod pag open na mo pag panit na mo ano na siya lamog na siya may sira na siya ayan so that's quality so now since we already know uh, what is total quality management what is quality now we're gonna stick with the direct topic, which is the quality assurance. So, when we talk of quality assurance, no, the definition uh, states that it is a planned and systematic activities implemented within the quality system that can be demonstrated to provide confidence that a product or service will fulfill requirements for quality. Another is, is it is a system for evaluating performance, service of the quality of the product against system, standard or specified requirement for customer. Or from the word itself, no? Gina-assure ang quality. So, unsa ang pag-assure sa quality, syempre na evaluation, no? Sa performance, ginatanaw ang service, no? ginatanaw ang product, kung nagasunod ba sa standards. This is what I have said. Katong, unsa ang imuhang ang mga procedures, unsa ang mga specifications nga gusto ni mo mabuhat no or unsa ang gusto sa isa ka customer so with that dapat na akay quality assurance no gina-check siya na ay mga uh, um pri uh, uh, na, pre uh, pre checking mid checking and of course post checking no then examples of quality assurance skills we have attention to detail Siyempre, attention to detail kay kunwari na ay gusto ang customer. No? Nasa requirement nga. Ako sa kenan kay gusto ko na ay CR. So, siyempre, hana ko CR nga dapat hot and cold ang shower. Um, dapat uh, transparent ang color and so on. So, those are just example. So, dapat pag mag uh, assured ka quality na pasok siya sa detalye nga gusto sa customer. Another is of course time management. Kung kailan niya, kailan niya gustong makuha yon, no? It should be within that bound of time. Another is we have also problem solving. We have that skill of problem solving. You can do multitasking. You're able to have the ability to have written and verbal communication. You have the ability to work as part of a team. You have the knowledge of quality standards. No? Uh, with all these things, uh, marami pa actually mga examples, pero all, all, the, all of these things are major examples kung paano natin makaka, natin ma-assure ang isang quality. So, dapat meron tayo nito. Then, uh, quality assurance also is a way of preventing mistakes or, or defects in manufactured products and avoiding problems when delivering solutions or service to customers. Kasi again, di ba ang QA nga, kagina-check niya, nag-evaluate siya prior, during sa process o after sa process. So, um, gina-prevent niya nga na yung mga mali, na yung mga defects, ilang na-manufacturing na product. 
And of course, ma-avoid niya ang problem sa delivery. Kung naay mga marketing dere, I don't know if you're familiar already with logistics management, but I think you have your, uh, it's part of your curriculum, no? na amoy subject na logistics management. Um, yeah, logistics management, bar 312. I think that you're done with this, eh, di ba? Tapos na kayo, no? Logistics management. Yes? Sino ba yung teacher nyo dito? Barre 312. Anyone? Ma'am Chico, ma'am. Ayun, si Ma'am Chico. So I'm pretty sure, well-defined, well-discussed, ito ni Ma'am Chico, yung logistics management. Um, log when we say logistics, this is the point of uh, production, no? Uh, point of the assembly of the materials to the point of delivery of to the customers. Diba? So kailangan natin yan mahibalaan kahit hindi tayo marketing kasi we are under business. So katanan nga mga encounter ni mga problem, mga mga concern, part na siya sa logistics. And talking of logistics, again, since part siya na kanang ginatawag na gikan sa point of sale or point of creation to point of sale or point of delivery to customer, um, natin ginatawag po na reverse logistics na mag-discuss na ako gamay sa marketing. So sa re reverse logistics, diri diri jud ma mabutuhan ang quality assurance. No kay ang mahitabo sa reverse logistics, no uh, let's say mo one two three tulo man ni ka apples no. Na adiri naggibuhat ang product, let's say ang ang uh, sama na. Ang uh, rice cooker, gibuhat diri ang rice cooker, gi-assemble and so on. Then, gi-check na sa quality assurance kunuhay. Then, point of sale, gi-dala dala sa mga uh, middleman, mga retailer, mga wholesaler. And then, gi-palit palit ni direct buyer no? or ni customer. So, pag-abot kay customer, na ginagamit lang niya isa kasi mana, ni buto ang nagkalit ang kuha niya. Na ay warranty nga 3 months. So, na ay reverse logistics, kumabalik na siya. Si customer, ibalik niya sa middleman. Si Medellan, ibalik niya sa factory akin sa ang nagbuhat. So that's reverse logistics. Now, kung wala kay quality assurance, wala niya mag-prevent ang mistake or defects, mas dako ang uh, gasto. No? Kay, uh, nakakreate na kung kaato na nakay mga expenses, nga mga na-incur, ibalik pa to siya and so on. Mandako na kayo gasto. Muna ang dapat na ay quality assurance. Good. And mayong kag quality assurance, it should be meaningful. Dili kayo nag... Ngun yung ka, oh, humana na, check na nako na. Ya, wala di ay. Dapat again na kay pre, during, o post checking. That's why kaninga topic is quality assurance and control. Kasi when we talk of control, the other term... No? Sulat na ko. Other... Other term for... Control is, or control is about checking. No, or check. So, di ba pag mag-check ka, di lamang ka mag-check sa, sa katapusan na ni mong ibuhat. Dapat mag-check ka prior, syempre ka mga inventory of mga products, during, o post. Human pagbuhat sa product. Okay? So, that's how... Are you going to assure that there is really quality in your product or in your service? Okay. Now let's continue with ISO 9000 defined. So, and ISO 9000 defined a part of quality management focus on providing confidence that quality requirements will be fulfilled. So, mga 9000 family, dagan kayo mga 9000 series. So, kana siya nga ISO is again nagafocus na siya sa quality. Management. And pag nakay makita ang company nga na ay 9001 nga family series, no? um, ibig sabihin they are really providing quality requirements. Okay, so quality management is the act of overseeing all activities and tasks that must be accomplished to maintain a desired level of excellence. So it's also referred to as total quality management. So, ano uh, natay quality assurance, but quality assurance is just part of quality management. Kasi again, ang management, a quality of management, ginassure niya, ginaoversee niya ang tanan activities and tasks na mabuhat siya, ma-maintain, magkaroon ng continual effort or continuous improvement. Or other term again for that, popularly known as, Total quality management. Then, maritime principles. Maritime first, customer focus, leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement, evidence based decision making, and relationship management. Okay, we also have total quality management, the continual process of detecting and reducing or eliminating errors in manufacturing. Streamline and so on. Basta kung, kung nabasa ni ninyo dito sa ano sa 
PowerPoint, ang, ang ano nito is talaga mga keywords nito, continual, improve, no, uh, um, um, deliver, to avoid misunderstanding, is that continue ang ihang pagproseso na gina-check niya, gina-monitor niya ang quality sa isa ka product or isa ka service. And of course, the main aim is really to meet or exceed the customer expectation. Okay. Then, we also have the eight universal principles of total quality management. First, we have leadership. Siyempre, sa, uh, sa leader mag-start talaga, no? Then, of course, with uh, there is a leader, but how can a leader work without people? So, dapat mag-involve na collaboration. Dili lang kay cooperation nga naa siya present, but also naa siya input nga gyatag. Involve siya. There is a process approach na ay proseso. Dili kay will gonna come up with one single decision and that's it. There should be process. Yung sa, tatawag, tanawag ko kayo na procedural manual. Nakasaad doon ang proseso, ang steps. Then, it should be systematic no may mga logical explanations kung bakit yon ginagawa continual improvement that's what i have explained a while ago it should be continuous no hindi ka lang maging complacent hindi ka lang steady na okay na ang dagan sa imong task karon sa imong proseso karon another factual approach to decision making syempre of course based on facts may mga evidences ka no hindi ka pwedeng magsabi lang ingon manggod si kuan mo na manggod ni among naandan traditionally mo na manggod ana no it should be written there should be an evidence to that a document that will gonna prove na mo jud na ang dapat nimong ginabuhat basing on your decision and you have also mutually benef mutual beneficial supplier relation so uh, mutual si supply ikaw maka benefit ka ka supplier kay ginatagaan ka og supply ni supplier at the same time si supplier maka benefit sa imo ha kasi you are um using the product and also um, projecting good name. Okay, then ISO is defined. No? So, naano ko na kanina that about, it is about the quality management ang mga ISO 9000. So, increasing productivity, reducing unnecessary costs, ensuring quality process and products. Ang ISO 4000 naman, this relates on the environment. No? So, environment po din siya ka mga naga Ta, uh, business nga na ay kalabutan sa environment. Mga plastic nga ano, kasi more on the environment po na mo po niyang ilahang ginakuha na ISO, 14,000 po. Okay, um, I'm with ano, PowerPoint 18. Marag mas stop ni ako ang ano 